good. You could say it rocked our world, kind of like the earthquake <laughs> that happened. Yeah, Get some of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I didn't feel it. I was sleeping, but I know Christina, our producer, said she felt it. Some of you might have felt some shaking this morning, and there actually was an earthquake, not in our area, but south in Oklahoma. There was a 5.6 magnitude earthquake there, and uh, they did have some damage reports of uh, some buildings knocked around a little bit. Some uh, there was. I saw pictures of products in food aisles, you know, in, in uh, supermarkets that things were on the floor. So they had some of that damage here, none in our area, but you could see the blue dash shows where people felt it, and you could feel it as far north as Sioux City. So if you felt the shake this morning, there was actually a little bit of an earthquake. Otherwise, we're looking at some clouds right now in Storm Lake and in downtown Sioux City on the Port Neowaldi Company Skycam HD. We got up to 78 degrees today, a little bit on the cool side. Um, our normal is at 81, and that record is near 100. 75 degrees right now with some mostly cloudy skies. That dew point is in the 60s, so it's a little bit stickier than it was yesterday, but with the wind and the clouds, it doesn't really feel humid out there at all. We're looking at some low and mid 70s, 75 in Spencer, 71 in Tacoma, 72 in Wayne, and it's breezy out there. We have those winds sustained at a 15 to 20 miles per hour, 20 in Sioux Falls and Yankton, and those gusts are getting up to 30. 33 in Yankton is your gust right now, and uh, 26 in Sioux City. All a south wind, which is going to uh, keep some of those temperatures a little bit warmer in the seven day forecast for us. Now, we do bring in a chance for storms tonight and tomorrow. Tonight, we don't really have a severe risk. It's very low. Now, tomorrow, we do have a severe risk for areas pretty much west of Sioux City. Western Sioux Lane could get in on a strong storm or two with some wind and hail threats there. Now, we'll be dry for barbecue Monday during the day, but then Monday night, we bring in another chance for some showers and storms, this time with a slight risk for Sioux City and, again, areas north and west, so keeping an eye on the potential for wind and hail there as well. Now, both days, Sunday and Monday, they're going to come in rounds, so... We'll have a chance for showers and storms tonight that could linger into the morning hours tomorrow. We'll have a lull with just some clouds and breezy winds in the afternoon, temperatures in the 80s. And then tomorrow night, we bring in that second round of some showers and storms. Uh, really, after 7 o'clock is when that chance will kind of ramp up again. Right now, we're just looking at some clouds locally, some showers to the south. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet regionally. Something I have been watching closely is Hermine. Uh, made landfall in Florida yesterday. Right now, it's a very strong side and is expected to strengthen uh, right off the coast, coast of Jersey and uh, bring some storm surge there. We do have a tropical storm warnings up the east coast uh, for some strong surge and winds and flooding there. Now, why am I telling you about this? Is because it's going to actually affect our forecast. So, Hermine is going to just stall out on the east coast, and that's why it's going to be so catastrophic for some of those beaches there. But as it does that, so does the jet stream. The jet stream stalls with it, and it's going to keep the jet stream right over our Sulin area, acting as a highway, keeping those showers and storm chances in the seven-day forecast for us. So as this doesn't move, we'll continue to see those showers and storms in the forecast. So you'll see this as a stalled front on Stormcast HD. We'll bring in those showers and storms tonight. They'll linger into tomorrow morning. Will be dry during the afternoon tomorrow. You can see that front really hasn't moved much. And then we bring in some more showers and storms in the uh, overnight on Sunday into Monday. Now, Monday afternoon for barbecue, we'll uh, have just some partly cloudy skies. A nice day, but then again, that front is still there, so we bring in those shower and storm chances again Monday night and Tuesday. And again, as, as long as that doesn't move, we'll keep with the shower and storm chances. So, your Labor Day, those storms end in the morning, more sunshine and a lull in the afternoon, and then another round at night. So, tonight, 64 degrees, scattered showers and storms after midnight, mostly cloudy and breezy. Tomorrow, still breezy, gusts up to 30 miles per hour with those rounds of storms and a high temperature of 84 degrees. And then a very unsettled seven day, but I think the most important part is barbecue should be dry on Monday and then storms will be likely again Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, thanks so much.